Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Deadly, and today I have something different for you guys. It's not going to be Day Z. it's going to be The Long Dark. Now, The Long Dark is a single-player Northern Canadian survival game where there's this weird magnetic aurora that destroys all electronics and your plane crashes deep in the north. You have to survive for as long as you possibly can while managing your condition, your cold, hunger, thirst, and your energy. Now, this is not going to be a beginner's guide to the long dark. This video is going to be for players who may have actually experienced this game before, and specifically people who have played Interloper. Interloper is the hardest difficulty in the long dark that was just recently introduced to the game, and we are nine days in. We've already collected a hacksaw, uh, a couple of pry bars, a number of pieces of food and equipment, some matches, some coffees, and basic supplies. Uh, we currently don't have a heavy hammer, and we're about to make the journey to Desolation Point to create an improvised knife and an improvised axe from the forge on the Riken. So, this was one crazy journey in video games, and it was so good that I had to upload it for you guys, and it's going to be a multi-part series because I do not want to leave anything out for those that are still new to the game or want to see what interloper difficulty is like. We are nine days ahead, so I'm not starting a brand new character, but we're to the point where if you play for maybe an hour or two, you would be able to catch up to this point on the coastal highway and then begin your journey to collect your weapons. Anyways, guys, enough talking. Let's get into the game and let's start surviving. Surviving. Actually, one more thing I want to mention. I am not an expert in this game. I only have about 50 hours of gameplay. I am playing on Interloper because I find the other difficulties no longer challenging. So there are still a lot of things that I need to learn and I will be missing a lot of things and making mistakes. But making mistakes is kind of what this game is all about because if you don't plan everything out, then you'll die. Enjoy guys. To go and build some improvised weapons. So let's go see if we can make that happen. So last time we ran to the coastal house because there's only one hour of daylight left and I do have a fish that I need to put outside so it doesn't get ruined. That's what we got to do right away. Okay. That's, that's, look how many calories is in that thing. Holy shit. That is a lot of calories. One piece of food, that's a beast amount of calories. Okay. Now we're gonna drink. And I really don't think there's much else that I could do right now just to pass some time. I guess I could try to fa repair this. I don't really need much more cloth. We have a lot of cloth. Still need to get that deer. I still need to get that deer, but I don't plan on staying in Desolation Point. So, we'll be coming back to Coastal Highway, we'll collect the deer, and then we'll probably leave. Um, there's also deer meat, like I said, that I left somewhere on Coastal Highway, but there's really no point of me going to get it. Is there anything else that I can do with my time while we're... I could just probably... We can try to fix these socks up. And let's try to fix this up. How big is the world? It's actually really big, Sneaky. Really big. Let's drink up. And uh, let's eat up. Most of my calories are still at my camp or my house, so. We're gonna have to, like, unfortunately, drink and eat my a lot of my stocks here. We're gonna need about 600 calories worth of food, at least. That should do it. Yep. What do Daisy and the Long Dark have in common? Not much. 
Yeah, I like survival. Yeah, I'm a huge fan, Major Lake. Like survival games. Good survival games. That's important. Because not all survival games are good. This one is definitely one of the good ones. Okay, let's do this. Hopefully it's not gonna be too cold. We gotta make it back to our... I should really go get that deer. All I can think about is food. Do I see any wolves? Oh, actually we should. We're gonna go get that deer then. I don't see any wolves out there. We got a deer that's across this uh, lake. It's really cold out, but I'm going to be making a fire, so Too hopefully heavy. that will help me out. Should be a dead deer on that little... Dock? There's a wolf. Maintain it a pretty distance away here. Uh, well, we don't have... I'm going to be doing a 24-hour stream on Monday, I think. Now, we got two wolves over there. They might get interested in my juicy salmon. Ah, oh, where did you guys come from? They were not there just a few minutes ago. Yeah, they... I don't know if, like, in the long dark, if they can smell the salmon. But I know they hunt you down on interloper difficulty. I don't know where the fuck those came from, though. Can't feel my hands. Okay. There's a should be a deer right here. Uh, they look like they're slowly coming over, yeah. Let's check something. Okay. I've never felt so cold in my life. Don't know if this is gonna work. Might. Alright, please light. If we get attacked by these wolves, it's game over. I'm gonna be so sad. So, so sad. Because this is probably the best start I've had in 10 days. Come on. Light. Light. Please light. Are you serious? Come on. Please. Please light. We need to dethaw the deer on. so we can harvest it. Is this what it's like in a daily life for Canadians? Yeah, pretty accurate. Nothing like just building a fire next to a deer, ripping out the meat with my bare hands. All right, we got it. It worked. It worked. Okay, while we're waiting for this deer to be thaw, we're gonna make ourselves food. Okay, this was a mistake. I uh, need to. A little bit smarter about this. If I can drop any of hey, we just leveled up our fire starter. I need to get this fire hotter. So I stop to stop dying here. Can I get this even hotter? I need to get this even hotter. It's a big waste of resources to use my sticks because we're not going to be here for four hours but okay there we go if the wind shifts i'm going to be so sad yeah even after all the research my fire fails <sighs> okay okay 
sit next to this cozy fire. Wait for big old deer carcass. How long would it take? Oh, shit. Huh. Let's just do it. I'm gonna use the hacksaw to do it. We could get the hide, but I'm not interested in the hides yet because I can't do anything with them anyway. Like, I could cure them, but there's just nothing I can do. We can cook the meat, though, right now. The long black. So original. Alright, we might as well melt some more snow. Do everything we can with this fire. Something's gotta go. Make some Tim Hortons. Man, it's such a waste of a fire, but I kind of need to do other things on this day, so... I won't be able to take a brand with me. So we might as well just move back to our island. I mean, I could try to take a brand with me, but I think it's going to blow out. Yeah, it's not really blown out yet. Okay, we have the deer meat. Have the salmon. We're gonna run back to our island and begin the preparation for moving to the next zone. At Desolation Point, we won't be staying in Desolation Point for very long. I'm surprised that this brand is not blowing out in the wind yet. We could even try to go to Desolation Point, like, as soon as possible, like... I don't know how long we're gonna be there, though. Like, I might actually end up staying there for quite some time. I wouldn't really want that to happen. Because all of my good supplies are here. I can't carry everything, unfortunately, right now. A lot of my supplies are up in this cabin. There's also a bear that lives on this island, so hopefully, uh, I really hope he's not someplace. there. To escape this cold. Let's hope he's not up there. How did I end up with the name Deadly Slob? Um, there's like an origin thing for it. So cold. If you do exclamation point origin in the chat, it tells you all about that, how I got my name. I should really cook that. Hold on. I can use the brand in my hand to light a new fire without consuming a new match. And we just ranked up our fire starting kit, or our skill, so instead of a 60% chance, we have a 75% chance. Orgy? It's, it's origin, guys. Jesus. Jesus. Orgy. Okay. Fire's life out here. Need it hotter. Hotter fire. So I don't die when I'm cooking this. Hot oh, damn. Hotter. So I don't lose more condition. Leave my meat. Bam, bam, and 
am. I'll die if I don't warm up soon. Again, I, I again, I had two other pieces of like 800 calorie deer steaks, and I'm I'm just killing myself because I left them behind. Oh, we actually have some cured guts here, and these cured guts can be used to make fishing line, which I will do. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed episode one to give you a taste about what this game is about. We are preparing to go to Desolation Point. We have the fish, we have some of the meat, we're gathering supplies, and I'm taking a look at the house one last time before I decide to make the final journey. And you guys are gonna be seeing that journey begin in next episode. So please do leave me some comments if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed the long dark. And I will see you guys next time for one hell of a journey. It's going to begin, this, like I said, this is gonna be a multi-part series. It's gonna be a playlist on my channel, and I'm gonna be uploading them periodically whenever I have a slow day in Daisy. Have a fantastic one, guys, and I'll see you during the daily live streams every single morning at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time.